started getting into that, um, I wanted to start this video off with some explanations of what's going on, kind of like an FAQ type of thing, because I've asked, been asked a few questions. Uh, technically, I've actually just finished recording the last uh, episode. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The first question, the question I've been asked the most is actually, where did I get to the mod slash patches that I've been running? And I'm going to put the link down in the description, but it's uh, Greyface's Might Magic 6 patch. I um, also applied the Might Magic 6 widescreen mod, which isn't actually widescreen, it's just scaling things up. And also I have patched the um, mod to add mouse look, which is actually a part of Greyface now, so I guess that's still the same patch. Um, it allows you to use mouse look instead of using just arrow keys to turn and pivot and so on, so it plays more like a more modern first-person style game. And that's kind of been the way I've been running. I'm actually using Greyface's recommended key bindings and everything, so it's very similar to Skyrim, actually. Uh, let's see. Next question. Oh, um, what's going on with what I ended up doing in Episode 2? So, Episode 2 is where I went from New Serpical to Dragon Sin. Hold on, let me go grab a picture really fast. Sorry about that. Um, I had to take Bukiti to the vet and then prep the rest of this. So, um, what happened with episode two and where in the world did I go or anything like that? So let me show you, hold on a moment. So this is the map, it's reversed for me. This is the map of M M Magic Six. Um, this is the entire world map. Uh, it's part of a continent, basically. The continent doesn't really extend much further than this from what I've been told, but this is the entire continent for purposes of Might Magic 6. On this map, there's a certain number of zones. Like so. Uh, and you'll notice that the lines aren't exactly sh equally placed. That's not just because I roughly made the map or anything. In fact, if you look at game facts, I actually have a perfectly divided outline of the map, but this is approximately how the zones are actually divided up. So the map's not 100% accurate. So New Serpical, which is there, is where you start. Um, you can actually label them in zones uh, like A through E, one through five if you want, but we started over there. And inside of there is a teleporter that teleports you to Dragon Sand. Dragon Sand being there. So it's a fairly large distance away. I didn't particularly want to walk back. Um, and well, it's an effective way of getting over to the Shrine of the Gods, which gives you a bonus to all of your stats. And also the New World Computing Dungeon that gave me that nice, lovely um, bonus to all of my stats. That's actually the spell called Day of the Gods, which I'll be able to cast a little bit later on. So... That's what happened with that episode, is that I teleported basically in the middle of Dragon Sand, which, again, the further north and west that you go, the worse things are monster-wise. So New Serpical has the easiest monsters in the game. The upper left-hand corner is, um, Sweet... Sweet... Why can't I think of the name? Sweetwater, there we go. Um... Yeah, the absolute northwest corner of Sweetwater, where the FMV for the opening movie started. And that's also where I need to go, ultimately, in the game. Uh, so, yeah. My next objective is actually going to be to Bootleg Bay, which is... Uh, let's see, I can point up over... Not missed, but the one next to it is Bootleg Bay. But I'm going to take a little bit of a circuitous route to get there. You'll understand when you watch this video. Uh... Also, coincidentally, each of the spots that you see a little town in, those are spots that you can cast a spell town portal to. And you'll also see that a bit in the video. So those are areas that you can teleport to easily. Let's see. Next question. Let me switch this back over. And... Oh, so... Why did I not enchant everything? So my creator asked me this, and it's basically, I need money. You'll see in this episode, I run very low on money. And I wasn't even sure if I could afford what I did do, which ultimately I did. 
I hope you enjoyed the rest of this episode. If you have any other questions, let me know. Again, I'll make sure in the comments I'll put the um, link to the mod for Might Magic 6 that I'm running. Enjoy the episode. Good kitten internet. Um, Hello. So here is what I messed up before. And you probably just saw me record a sequence explaining what I was doing. So I'll just summarize it really quickly as I forgot that you can actually get gate master. I'm slightly off the screen. You can actually get gate masters in Usurpical. And I need a gate master. <sighs> Hold on. And rather than having a Pathfinder, I need a Gate Master. So, what a Gate Master does is it allows you to cast Town Portal at Master Level. Um, what Town Portal at Master Level means is that I can now go visit any town with a fountain that I want. And let me go drink from the Central Fountain, because I think this is the way this ends up working. Let's find out. So, first off, cast Town Portal. And we're going to go to Freehaven, because why would I want to go where it makes sense logically? We're going straight to a city that, you know, has all the things I could ever want and more. Welcome to Freehaven. Freehaven's the largest city in this game. Um, it's a very, very large city. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a small amount of chronomancy and make sure I get the spells that I need. Oh, first... I need to find the stables. Uh, one stable's down here. So let me explain what I'm doing now. Um, so what I did is a skip, so to speak. So um, normally in the game, you can't actually reach Freehaven until you walk there. Um, the idea being that the game wanted you to go naturally explore. This is the only game in the series that has this weird restriction. Uh, you can take stable... Uh, you can take... Come on up, Boo. It's okay. Uh, Boo's a little sleepy. She's going to the vet in an hour and a half. Um, hold on a moment. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, right. So you can normally take sta uh, take um, a stagecoach or boats to go to Freehaven, but the game won't let you until you actually visit Freehaven for the first time. In like, What the game wants you to do... Um, the, what the game wants you to do is basically, that's going to be important, uh, basically the game wants you to walk there, and that's what a normal player would do. I don't play the game normally, and I had a brain fart that I had not gone to Freehaven yet. Uh, stables are back here. Darn it, brain. Um, once more, by near every stables, there should be two to three horseshoes. Two in here. Then finally, we're going to go and buy some magic. So the reason why I'm saving outside is that the game randomizes what spells are in the shop when you enter. And the elemental spells, like for instance, this one's Guild of Air. The one I actually want is down here, which is Guild of Water. Um, the spells are randomized the moment that you enter, so all I have to do is save. Oh, right, I need to actually get membership. Uh, I believe it's these. I believe, oh, thank you. I believe these are the ones that give membership nearby. Nope, these are the three experts, aren't they? Yep, those are the three experts. Maybe it's these that give membership. Spirit Guild membership. Um, I will be joining all of the guilds, but I'm going to wait for a bit. Mostly for money. So I'm going to be spending a lot of money doing this. Put this in string. Let's be tavern. Hi there. You're a simple farmer. So what I'm trying to find is membership into the water guild. Hi there. I'm also going to end up needing membership in... Oh, actually. How are you? So, this person pays money for four leaf clovers. It's... Not a good deal, to be honest, but How are you? I just want it in my quest log. Yep, and this person wants amber. 500 gold for each piece of amber. Uh, Hi there. If I would have been smart, I would have actually looked this up in advance. And Freehaven Sewers will be where we're going to go after this. So 
what am I doing time-wise? I have 20 minutes, uh, 20 hours remaining on my spell. Let's go ahead and... So, my plan... That's a shop. How are you? You are a potter who would be willing to join me, but you have a child here. Why in the world? Whatever. It's the game. Hi there. Expert dagger. Hello. Expert sword. Hi there. Regular merchant. There's a lot of shops here. Hi there. You are the one who wants gongs. I'll say this Hello. is a quest. Yep. This is the quest for Mordred, which is one of the best daggers in the game. Hi there. You're the one that chains merchant. You're a little child that has a funny looking hat. Um, sadly, I did not level up merchant. I leveled up air instead. How I probably should have leveled up merchant. Here we go. Here's fire guild. So this is probably water. Hello. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Hi there. I'm also going to need much. to join air. That's weird. Did they both cost 50 or is 125 and 150? Anyway. So. Save the game. Pick up herb. And so the learning is the other skill that I want to make sure I pick up on everybody. But, let's first. Enchant item is going to bring me lots and lots of money. I would love to pick that up as well. But I have a mission. Now, what I hope is that when I entered before, I didn't mess things up. If I did, I end up loading the autosave. Okay, no. So, Town Portal is the spell I wanted to make sure I picked up. And I can afford it. I actually have a decent amount of money remaining. And, yeah, so, the way town portal is going to work, I only need one town portal. I was kind of hoping for enchant item as well. Mm. I think I can reload and get both. Also, I'm going to actually save directly in front, so this doesn't take me forever. So, I have my reasons as to why I specifically want this. Uh, you have town portal... Blade's Beacon. Blade's Beacon's a really nice spell, but that's most of my money. Also, Lloyd's Beacon is not very useful, so I should probably explain what the spells are. Lloyd's Beacon, if you've played Daggerfall or... I don't think even Morrowind has it. It's Mark and Recall. So basically, you drop a beacon, and you can recall yourself to that location, which is you teleport there, regardless of where they're at. And it's a really interesting spell, the way Might Magic 6 handles it. At normal level, what beacon's really useful for is teleporting back to the front of dungeons. At expert level, it's useful for teleporting back to town, or even a couple of neighboring towns. And at master level, well, that's where you start getting lots and lots of beacons everywhere. Town portal, on the other hand, um, normal and expert brings you back to the central fountain, the last town visited. The part that I don't remember if it's the t last town or the last fountain that you visited. I think it's the last town, but I drank in the New Serpical Fountain, just in case. And at Master Level, you get to choose where you go, which is what the NPC is doing for me. My kitties are very unhappy with me right now. Alright, so. Can we get both Town Portal and Enchant Item? Yes, we can. Done. What else do you have? Ice Bolt is a really good spell. I'm going to need Water Walk because I don't have Fly at the moment. I guess I can pick up Poison Sp No, I want to make sure everybody has Learning. Because, oh boy, am I going to be gaining a whole bunch of levels really soon. And I'll explain what Learning does in a moment. Alright, and... I think that's good for now. Yeah. So let's go ahead and give these spells okay. to our yes. water mage. Okay. Which our water mage yes. is going to be leveling up water magic for a very long time. Uh, water magic, I mentioned this before, water and air are the two most powerful types of magic in the game. Let's see, can I pull off? Oh, there's air. enemies nearby. The magic of light. 
I can just barely afford it. Totally worth it. Okay. All right. So now that I actually have magic, I am poor again, but my plan is to go into the sewers. Uh, was sewer entrance over here the one that I normally like going into? How am I doing on time? 18, er, 19 hours, that's oh, yeah. probably fine. Um, was it water membership that I also Hello. had? Another option? Hello. You're a bard. Bards are nice, but not what I'm looking for. This is Merchant? Yeah, that's Merchant. Technically, I could just go fire my Gate Master right now, which is what I'm going to do. I really like having a Gate Master, but... Oh, right, I wanted to test something. This is Stream Save 4. Ah, Caps Lock is on. Hello. Right, so what I wanted to test... Yeah, so it has the 10% chance of failure, which at one rank is not very much. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's last town, not last um, fountain, which is kind of what I expected. What was that email? Oh, just email about my cab ride for taking Boo Kitty to the vet. Anyway, um, I'm going to actually keep the Gate Master for the time being, even though it's going to cost me a lot of money. But, let's see, it's... 20% of all gold found, so 2,000 gold pieces. If I find 10,000 gold, I will have spent more than just hiring a new one. I'll be fine. Probably famous last words. So, um, first thing I want to do is go clean out the sewers, because the sewers should be low enough power. Where the hell am I going? I need to walk to the sewers. I believe this has an entrance to the sewers. Greetings. Yep. Sergio the burglar. So here's a fun fact. So there's a bunch of different types of guilds in this game. Smuggler's Guild is one of them. And usually you find membership to a guild in the same city that you can find the guild. However, in Might Magic 6, they forgot to actually put the Smuggler's Guild into Freehaven. So as a result, there's no Smuggler's Guild. Except that the unofficial patch that I'm running actually re-adds it. So, Thank I'm okay you. with going in there, and we're going to go into the sewers. Where are we? And this place this is where bad familiar. things are going to start happening, because I am not very high level. Yes, Yes, please. Oh, hey, look. It's a key. So, um, this is not a location... Um, on my side. This is not a location you're supposed to be at yet. Um, I think you should probably be around level 15 to 20 when you're normally exploring the sewers. So I'm going to have to be pretty careful even with my boosted stats because I'm still level 1. But I need money because I'm going to need the money to level up. These guys are the reasons why I need to be careful. Acolytes of Ba are probably the most powerful enemies in the early game. So I'm running up to go fight them. The Cleric of Ba... Okay, so there's no Priest of Ba here. This isn't too bad. So now you're wondering, why are there Clerics of Ba in the sewers? It's an excellent question. Oh, that was wrong. That's the correct thing. This is also a really good experience, by the way. Oh, I have sparks enabled. Okay, that explains things. Wait for that to go. So, for reference, um, I can currently level up to level 6. Oh, I forgot to explain learning. Uh, so, learning is one of the best skills in the game. What it does is it gives you an XP bonus. So, every point of skill is a bonus. 1% XP, and having the skill alone means that you're getting a minimum of 10%. So, just by buying that learning skill, all of my experience is going to be increased by 10%. Now, what you'll notice is that I also have a Scholar here. And I know in the Might Magic 7, the way this works is that the 5% bonus on experience is actually five, plus 5 learning skill. And I don't know how they ended up implementing it in 6, because there was a glitch with it, and normal base game, it wouldn't actually give you anything. 
So we'll find out. I may be getting plus 15% experience right now. Oh, these areas are dangerous. I need to be careful. Anyway, the uh, sewers are actually a quest for much later on in the game. Well, not really much, but for later on in the game. And I don't have the quest yet, so I actually cannot fully complete the sewers. But outside of the clerics and I want to say the other enemy type in here are thieves, this should actually not be that bad. So there's lots of sewer grates. Um, I'm going to go ahead and quick save. And there's randomly things in here, including taking lots of damage. Oh, right, I have craptastic healing. This was not the greatest of ideas. Okay, that is actually your quick spell. Cloak of speed. Plus four speed's not a bad thing. Okay, everybody's back up again. Like I said, I have to be really careful. While I hit really hard, I'm very squishy. I could actually die, not just get knocked unconscious in here. Three, you're at four. Oh, dang it. That's a lot of enemies that I really didn't want to wake up right now. Also, wizard eye dropped. Notice that they're all coming down this tight little hallway. So on the plus side, this is actually a really nice place for me to sit because I'm not going to be attacked from both directions at once. On the minus side, I'm also a sitting duck for any ranged attacks that come in. That's why I'm kind of tilted a bit in a diagonal so it wouldn't hurt me as much. All right. Oops. I didn't see you there. Um, I still have 17 hours. So my goal is to basically loot this place for as much XP and money as I can get. Because I need it badly. Okay, that's going to explode on me. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Every chest is going to explode in here because I am too low level with my disarm trap. And I don't have telekinesis yet. Woohoo! Got that one. Ow. Harm hurts a lot. So that's the, what that swirly spell is. It's harm. I've been 24 minutes. Okay. I want to make sure that this one doesn't go too long since I'm, after recording this, I'm going to insert a bit in the beginning explaining what in the world I'm doing and answering some frequently asked questions. You already know this because you're already watching this. All right. You need to heal up. This is why I don't like priests because they will run. Do not kill my mage or healer. You're actually going to heal yourself a little bit. Ah, you I hit the wrong one. That worked out out anyway. Okay, you're going to heal up. Normally you would have bows or anything in here. I'm doing this in a very strange order, for reference. I know I've said that many times, but I want to emphasize just how strange I'm doing this game. For those of you watching that have never played Might and Magic 6, the game's not supposed to be this easy. Um, walking into the New World Computing Dungeon makes the game quite a bit easier in the beginning, and as long as you don't keep going back to it, it's only the beginning. I have another roughly 17 game hours left until it becomes hard again. So what I'm trying to do is take as much advantage of that as possible. That's all bait. There's 
one more rat over here. Activate another group of rats. Yeah, you notice that there's traps going off in the middle of there? Yeah. Let's be a little cautious. You're at two hit points. Ugh, I hate how crappy first aid is this early in the game. So all I'm trying to do is lure them out. That's it. There's no other point for what I'm doing right now. Again, just trying to get XP and money. This just happens to be the most convenient spot for me to go for that. Because I know there's a lot of both in here. And I can now walk through. So you can watch what where the traps are going. And as long as you time things right, you're fine. Like that. Mind you, any of those traps hitting me would have probably killed me. Potentially the entire party at once. Okay, so I picked up some boots. Those are really crappy boots. However, not everybody has boots. Also, um, these will be things I will enchant later. Well, not the crossbow. Crossbows can't be enchanted. Just waiting for the swarm of rats to arrive. Okay, there's enough of them in here where I need to be a little careful. Once more! Doing this quite a bit easier than what should be in the game. Nice. Yeah. Not really, I can't enchant it. Right. I've got loot over there I'm going to go grab. Run back while I can before I get hit from the next spell. Okay, now I can continue going down here. Let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Actually, I should really just heal himself. Eye patch cleric guy probably needs more healing than anybody else because if eye patch cleric guy goes down, I'm dead. Basically, I just start trying to run at that point. I can't cast town portal while there's enemies present at the moment because I'm too low level. But in general, just run. How am I doing 15 hours remaining? Oops, I just turned around. Um, so, after this, I'm... Oh, crap, that is a priest about. Okay. I need to be a lot more careful in there. I'm going to heal a little bit. So, priest about are serious business. They, they're boss-level enemies, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. Um... They will hurt you like mad. So this is the ideal situation. So the way the game works is that you need to have line of sight to what you're hitting. At this point, this Priest of Ba doesn't have line of sight to me. However, with melee attacks, you don't need line of sight. So the Priest's attacks won't hit me, but I can hit the Priest. That's probably worth a healthy amount of XP. Now there's only one of them left in here. That's a lot easier to swallow. Okay. So let's, oops. Try to keep people healed as much as possible. All right, here's another exit from the sewers. There's a lot of entrances and exits to the sewers in Free Haven, so I'm not too concerned. Your rats, I'm gonna wait for you all to come up. I don't wanna trigger too many enemies at once. That could be very deadly. And there's one rat that's stuck, isn't there? Oh, no, that's not good. So in here is more sewer crates. So the key that I grabbed is actually it's random as to where you will find the key. Got that oh, still one there. Oh, uh, trash piles. I should explain what trash heaps are. Trash heaps are 
locations that you can go search, except without a high enough perception, they do nothing. I do not have a high enough perception. I have the minimum rank in perception. So just assume that trash heaps are useless to me. You are burglars and rocks. Oh, crap. All right. Well, I did grab a whole bunch of healing potions, so... Rogues are fairly difficult, as in high amount of damage. Um, really, I should not be down here at all. Okay, you should heal yourself a lot. So, um, basically what I'm doing is grinding for money and experience at the moment. Doing it in a very silly way. Okay, you're rats. I can deal with you. Got that one. Okay. Just want to make sure I don't kill myself. Killing myself would be bad. There's enemies in here, aren't there? Yep. Oh boy, you are deep in Nate. Oh boy, this is potentially a problem. I may have bit off more than I can chew for this particular group. I'm going to quick save. I'm going to quick save. Yeah. This is a problem. Okay. Okay. And I'm in condition green, so there's no more enemies nearby here. Which is good. Another exit of the, out of the sewers. I might be, yeah, I should probably just exit and go to a temple and heal myself. Right, there are no temples in here. That's a quest later on for a temple. Um, there are no temples in this town. So I'm going to walk over to the central fountain and heal that way. So most central fountains give you hit point healing. If I remember correctly, in Free Haven, this one does as well. Yes. Ugh. Shows you how low my hit points are when even my knight is below 100 hit points, aren't you? No, oh, you're at 110. Okay. Anyway, you'll up all the way, then go walk back on in. Which I've already forgotten which entrance I was in. Was it this one? Hey, how's it going? No, oh, your Earth Guild membership. I don't care nice about to her. See you. You're a noble. You are useless. Hey, good to see you. You're a Potter. You are useless. This one. Hello. Okay. So this is my map of what I can see so far. I've actually explored pretty much all of the eastern side of the Freehaven sewers at this point. And I have 14 hours remaining of my buff spells. And uh, let's just go ahead and recast Wizard Eye now. Wizard Eye only casts one. Costs one, so not a big deal. There should be some rats down there, I think. Nope, those are Bah. Yep, you are a good, or a difficult priest. Okay. Run, 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 run. Okay. Just rats. I can deal with rats. Rat, 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 rat. Again, melee attacks you can attack through walls. You just need to be within melee range. Paladin gauntlets are enchantable. Those are strength buff, which is nice. Um, you picked up those boots. You picked up those boots. You should get a strength buff. Those boots are self bait now. Also, enchant bait. I need to rearrange inventory. Sorry, give me a moment. So, um, the enchanter will have the enchant bait stuff. That's enchant bait. This is just being held on to. We should be good from there. I can see where it's bouncing. It's 
So that spells poison spray for reference. Ooh, I'm actually in green right now. I'm just going to rush through here really fast. Hopefully not get hit by any poison spray. And what are you? You're rats. We're okay. Rats and I get along. Hurry up, because I'm being attacked from behind also. That could have been timed slightly better, but that's okay. I lived. And once more, I'm in condition green. That means that I'm doing a good job at clearing out enemies. Uh, this requires a key that I have. All right. Ooh. Well, that's not a very good enchantment, but, you know. Uh -huh. Emerald Staff are enchantable. Nice. Day of the Gods is one of the best spells in the game. Uh, I definitely don't have ambulance on everybody. Uh. Lunar Ring is enchantable. Uh -huh. Okay. I am fully healed. I'm nearby one of those doors. Oh, this is a terrible idea. Oh. Okay, I didn't get hit too hard. Ooh, that's Ooh. extremely nice leather armor. I was not expecting something like that. You are going to go to... Well, I'm going to hold on to it. Um, you're wearing it. That's cell bait. Um, this is fly spell. God damn it, I just bought fly. Nice. Hurric sword. Um, this is going to be equipped onto her almost immediately. Longbow. All right. A belt of plus 22 might. Okay, that's a very high level enchanted item. This is why I wanted to come through here, because there's some really nice loot in here, and it's fairly easy to access. Cleric's going to get the speed belt instead. And you know what? Cleric's also going to get this amulet. It's a rather grisly amulet because it's a bear claw or some other huge beast. Ah, okay. You got the lunar ring. That's enchantable. Fly spell. I'll have him learn it even though I already have somebody with air magic. It's fine. Uh, I'm actually going to go further on. Back into yellow. That's fine. All right. Yeah, that was not wise of me. Let's go ahead and load from the auto. Right, quick save because I didn't need to do that. I do, however, need to heal my wizard. do for now. Walk in. Run away. Okay. This is doable. I should be able to handle two priests. Barely. Okay. Uh, you already have so many spells. That would be a great spell if it weren't for the fact that I still only have one rank and nice. That's not... Come on, die already, please. Thank you. Okay. Now we need to heal again. Oops, did not mean to pass on my healer. Oh, my kingdom for better healing magic. I know I can buy some here. I just haven't. Because I didn't have that much money at the time. Basically, I'm running this until I either run out of spell points, or run out of area to go, or thirdly, my spell runs out. Hi, rats. Why are you all attacking my wizard? You're not a wizard yet, you're a sorcerer. Why are you attacking a sorceress? I'll get you at least back up to yellow. Or something. I want to say this is a trap area, and that there's a bunch of rogues in here. I'm correct. Okay. Taking care of them. Ah, doo -doo 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 -doo. I've been playing for 40 minutes. I This will only be a little bit longer. Crap. This is the situation I need to run from. 
I'm just gonna run. I cannot take them on when they have a wide open area. Basically, my trick for making everything work is by being in these relatively narrow passages, I can move around just as easily as they can and just duck out of the way of things. Rats I can deal with. That's the rest button, not the run button. Come on, rats. Come on. There we go. It's another exit. Interesting. I didn't think there was one over here. Oh, it's not an exit. This is hit point healing. Okay. I knew there was something like that in here. I just couldn't remember where. That'll work. More healing is always useful. somehow. So basically, I have to melee these to have any chance at all, and it's only because of all the buff spells from the shrine, um, or New World Computing Dungeon. Go loot back here. And once more, I'm not trying to finish the quest in here because it's literally impossible to finish until you get it. And I would have needed to hire another gate master to complete that. So regular thieves I can do in real time. How are my buffs doing? 11 hours and one hour. I'm fine for now. I want to say there was some type of secret in here. Just money. Hmm. Could have swore there was something else in here. Oops. Oh, guess not. Um, there might actually be, and I just have a really low perception, so I can't notice things. All right, so let's take a look at the map. Okay, I've got a little bit more to the right. And then I've got the hard stuff. There's enemies in here for sure, because it's in yellow. And there's nasty ones too. Okay. You are a fine ring. Let's go ahead and see if I can fighter trap disarm this. Far back as I can. I'm okay. Steel Helm, I don't believe I can enchant that. Let me take a look at my notes really fast. Uh, at some point, I'll actually show you all the notes, I think. Oh, right. My notes aren't syncing. Because I have the wrong one note open. Oh, well. I'll check it later. Nice. That's cell bait. That's cell bait. That's... Well, I can definitely use it because I don't have very many hats. You get a dorky helm. See how dorky that looks? Ugh, bad Photoshop jobs. And to be fair, it was 1998. Okay. I think I'm just about done with what I can actually do in here without going after the nasty stuff. Wait, I can heal back up a little bit from that little well, which was over here. I know it's going to run out at some point. I might actually already be at running out, but... Okay. Now we're going to Leroy Jenkins, those priests. Although, first, let's go ahead and recast Bruce Dying, because it was going to expire soon. And... Yep, this is the only path remaining, you notice. Everything else we've gotten up here. Zoom in. Oh, I can't zoom in any other. Anyway, there's nothing east of this point. I've already searched all of it, other than the chest that I found earlier. And I will go back to that chest. I see you, priesties. And they see me. 
zooming out on the map, you can totally see this. So what I'm going to be doing is dodging all of these ranged attacks, which isn't going to work all that well. Now, I've got some to the left, some to the right. However, there's probably some more monsters to the left as well. I don't remember. Yep. Okay, at least here I'm only fighting four enemies at once. Priest is the nasty one. Although clerics aren't very nice either. Priest down. You're nearly dead. Okay, this works. Now I just have those two, which are in a much more confined area now. And are just acolytes. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's go ahead and loot. I want to say there's something weird about this particular chest. Uh -oh. Got knocked unconscious. Ooh. Cardinal Cloak of Fire Resistance. Okay. Yeah, I just have normal Phantom Cloaks on the rest of them, so yep. All right, and let's try to heal up our sorcerer just slightly more. I don't have much in the way of magic left, but I'm also almost done with this place. There's mostly thieves left. I don't even know if there's any priests left. Thieves and rats, I think. Nope, there's priests. dodge the harm. Oof. Yeah, I'm really low on healing at this point. Kill these rats. No problem. Another ring. Ah. Eh. Oh, right. I can actually give you a better weapon. Because this is 3D3 3D plus 6. This is 45 plus 8. Once more, I still don't have any ranks and any weapon skills. Um, kind of the worst knight ever. And I think I am now out of magic. Yep, I am out of magic. This is basically as far as I'm going to be able to pull off. I don't think I can go down here safely. So I quick saved. To double. There's a lot of thieves down here, if I remember right. behind this wall, I want to say. Ooh. That's definitely enchantable. Oh, no, it's priests. This was probably a mistake. No problem. Okay, that wasn't as big of a mistake as I thought. Hammer? Nice. Hammer. Kind of crappy weapon, actually. Main condition green, which I'm honestly surprised. Back to yellow. I might be able to finish this. This is going to be iffy. I'm going to go as far as I can. Um, speaking of, how are my spells doing? Eight hours, two hours. Okay. I'm fine for now. Rats. This means I've actually cleared out no after... Problem. Yep, the sewers are now completely cleared out. I mean, there's still loot. Um, there's actually some hidden loot that I've missed because I can't remember where they're at. But, hey, look. Surprise, sewers. And yeah, the lighting in here is weird. At certain angles, you no longer get well lit. It's confusing. Hidden passage. So this... Ah, that is trippy and not at all intentional. My apologies for anybody getting messed up from in here. Um, there's the quest objects actually in the bed, but uh, let's see. I don't think I can survive any trap. So, yeah. Uh oh. Nice. And let me guess. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, time to head out. Look, I 
paint that area because of the light and the weird texture changes because of the mud. Okay, so I'm just leaving at this point. Oh, I was going to hit that one last chest on the way out. It's been 50 minutes. I guess this is going to be a long video after all. My apologies. Um, because I want to do one more thing before stopping. So I'm going to stop at leveling up. Uh, need everybody conscious, so I'm going to go cram some potions down people's throat. You have, you have broken stuff, though. I really wish I could help. Oh wait, it's leather armor. I have plenty more. There you go. Now you have new leather armor. Nobody else has any broken things that I care about, so let's go ahead. Oh, I don't even need to do that. I can just cast Town Portal. What the hell am I doing? Oh wait, no, that's right. I actually want to go hit the chest on the end, which I don't remember where the entrance is. Yeah, your expression matches mine. Have I ever mentioned how crappy my luck is? Oh wait, no, I can't cast the indoors. That's what it is. It's not nearby enemies. I just can't cast it indoors at all. So I'm going to go toward the chest that I haven't opened, which is all the way down here. Uh, isn't there a button to double speed? There we go. Whee! There's no enemies left in here, so I'm not too concerned. The chest was in here? Yes. All right. This will probably kill me. Oh, I lived. Nice. Dark hammer. That's useful for my cleric. Um, you're going to find a spot for these things. Good. That works. Aha. Spear. Aha. Shield. Shield. Do you even have no. shield proficiency? No. So dark hammer is 2d5 plus 3. Wicked Mace is 2d4 plus 2. So dark hammer is better. Um, I'm going to heal you. Are you that far down? I'm going to heal you. You're still at negative 4. Okay. I'm going to heal you. Thank you. Did you break anything? Yeah, you did, and you broke the good armor. Okay. I'm going to have to go fix that. But I can go fix that after I complete this next quest. This is what I refer to as the easiest quest in the game. And there's a good reason why I call it the easiest quest in the game. Because it's, surprise, surprise, the easiest quest in the game. I'll stop by there later. What time is it anyway? 11 p.m. Okay. So. I need to go over to this little island here. So I'm actually going to cast the fly spell and hope to not get hit. Because... Those are mages. There's a lot of them. Oh, sorry, it's down here. My mistake. So, I mentioned before that there's different council quests. And basically, the stage of the game that I'm on is that I need to go complete the council quests. At the same time, there's the promotion quests, which allow people to promote one or two times. Or up to two times, I should say. And one of the... And each counselor is one of the foremost insert promotion quest thing here, People of the Land. Osric Temper is the foremost knight of this you, land. Osric Temper, Lord of the West and foremost knight of the realm. Osric Temper is the one for knights. So I'm going to pick up the Cavalier's Quest. I am the arms master in charge of the promotion of all knights of Inroth. Worthy knights can be promoted to cavaliers. Cavaliers embody the spirit of action and the power of purpose. Behind their courageous example, armies charge into battle and en enemies flee in terror. However, to become a cavalier, you need to be nominated by a person of authority. If you could get the nomination of a cavalier, that would be good enough for me. Literally, the only thing I have to do for this quest is to find a cavalier and ask. Completely serious. There's one cavalier in the game beyond Osric Temper, and he's in the exact same zone. Literally, this quest will be walking there, and that's it. I'm also going to pick up the council quest, which I will discuss in depth more later. Um, basically, TLDR, go kill a bunch of devils. That's actually the council quest, which, believe it or not, boo, boo. <sighs> boo kitty's being silly. Um, believe it or not, is probably one of the harder ones, um, because you basically just need to go kill stuff. 
that's it. So, let's go fly over. Yay, flight spell. Still need to be careful because dragon towers are still up. There is a fireball going right by. So I'm going to actually land. Or mostly land, I should say. I still like moving fast, so... I'm moving close to the ground so I can easily drop out. And we're going to walk this way. The temple's over there. It's out of service at the moment, and I'll show you more later on. So what I'm doing is walking along this path. Freehaven, and we're going to Rockham. Rockham's right here for reference. And we are actually going to the tavern in Rockham. Which is down here. And yes, I know that there's enemies nearby. They are very deadly. I don't want to deal with them. Welcome. So, Chadwick Blackpool. Nomination. Well there, you're looking to be for a nomination to become Cavaliers? I was once a valiant knight in my day. I fought with Roland in the Succession Wars, though now I'm too old to do much good on the battlefield. It's good to see Osric keeping the traditions of the knights alive. Tell him that I proudly nominate you to become Cavaliers. If he gives you any trouble, tell him to come see me myself. Now I'm going to wish I can cast fly again. Alright, I can. And rush. As fast as I can. Nope, fireball. Because I am in trouble if I can't make it back. Oh, right, I only have one rank of fly. That was not useful. So I just need to drink some blue potions. So. Go fly as fast as I can. If I. And so the fly spell costs MP as you're using it, and if you run out of MP, you just start falling. That's the reason why I'm trying to rush this as fast as I can. I made it, I'm fine. Oh, Duke Osric Tempa. Bam! Let Congratulations, the, the nomination the may not Knight seem important, but I have a tradition that must be followed for this promotion. As a cavalier, you need to understand that the traditions and values of the people that need to be defended. I gladly promote you to the rank of cavalier. So now, well, first off, I can grab the champion promotion quest, which I'll do in a moment, but let me go explain this first. Yep, this is definitely a long video. Um, now, I anybody who is not a knight becomes an honorary cavalier. You gain a bunch of XP, basically, and that's it. And any knight becomes a cavalier, which you now get an extra plus two hit points per level. You get... Um, I know there's other stuff, too. Actually, come to think of it, for a cavalier, it might really just be plus two hit points per level. Anyway, I'm a Cavalier now. Um, it's also, if I remember right, Champion's a requirement for one of the master levels of skills. So, first off, oh, it also bumps my reputation, although it's low enough where it doesn't matter. But, remember before when I highlighted this and it said that I can reach level 7? Now I can, or I was level, could train to level 6 and need a little bit more to 7. Now I'm almost at 10. And the same should be the case for just about everybody. So, thus ends my time. Uh, let's see, what's the easiest way back? Huh. Probably resting, to be honest. But I'm going to just drink another blue potion and fly. And dodging the fireball. There we go. Fly spell expired, just in time. This is the High Council. Remember what I said by Council Quests? Well, there's six members of the Council here. I think I might have said seven by accident earlier. And I need each of them to give me a thumbs up. And each of them are representing one of the six lords of Enroth. Sorry. Raytheia is my magic seven. So, we have Preston Steele, who has Lord Temper, which Lord Temper is the one that I was just speaking with. We've got Tori Goldman, who is from Lady Fleece. We've got Lord Stone, Lord Stromgard, Lord Newton, huh, Lord Newton, this guy's name is Euclid Kepler, nice. And finally, Slicker Silver Tongue, you have not adequately demonstrated your loyalty to my liege, Lord Humphrey, and I cannot give you my vote. 
These are the six that I need to deal with. So. Basically at this point there's not much else for me to do. Since there's no temple here I can't heal to speak of. Other than resting. And the moment I rest I no longer have any of my totally awesome buffs. Uh, wanked is luck. Empty is empty. Empty is still empty. I can enter the smuggler's hey, guild at this point, you. I think. I don't know where the smuggler's guild is at. When did you oh. get out? Here's the smuggler's guild. This is the one that they added in the game. So, um, I actually don't need anything here, do I? Whoops. Oh, well. So, this is basically where I'm going to end it. I'm just going to rest and train. Um, you know what? I'm going to splurge and actually rest in an inn. Because, well, these, and you know what? I don't rest normally, so I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until dawn and then train. So wait till dawn. Yep. And this is the problem. Crap. I do actually need to sleep. And where's my autosave? Uh, it's all the way back there. Dang it. I don't have any way of raising dead right now, do I? Boop. Uh, my quick save is not in a useful spot either. I'm going to go ahead and redo this, but I'm going to stop the recording here. I'm just going to go back to where I was. And so basically what's happened, um, let me explain what's happened. Today is Thursday, which means that my characters have not slept for four days straight. Um, this will randomly happen when you don't sleep for very uh, for extended periods of time, which the way I play, I don't really ever sleep, is that they will randomly go insane or in, and or die. In this case, Ed has gone insane, Matt has gone insane, Regina is weak, and Elaine's dead. Like I said, I will fix this in between recordings. I'm just going to reload and yeah, reload back to the autosave and fix this the right way. I hope you enjoy this. Um, hopefully my editing will go well and I will talk to you next time. So one thing I forgot from the last recording and this, I'm very shortly after my last recording, I just uh, finished not dying when trying to enter the training. Um, this is actually it's mirror image for me. This is actually the text for the promotion quest for champions, which is the second promotion for cavaliers. Um, this one is quite a bit nastier. Basically, you need to go find this warlord and defeat him, bring back proof of your victory, and then you're promoted. It's still not impossible or anything, but not something I'm going to do at level 1. Basically, I did the quest I can pull off at level 1. Okay. Uh, once more, goodbye. Uh, Bukini, want to join me? Bukini's a little bit groggy at the moment. But hey, I've got a boo kitty. Yes, I do. I've got a boo kitty. So do you. Yeah. Okay, bye.